This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. They've had six weeks off. We've had a terrible winter up here. So now what we're doing is we're bringing both of them back. And we're doing that. First, we've focused on Trudy's riding position. We're using the half halt as taught by Robert Dover, which basically we're doing. But now we've added the breath to it. And at the same time, she's keeping Annie connected. And with that technique, we're using what came from the Spanish riding school in Arthur Cotes. And that's using uh, when the horse's inside hind leg is off the ground is when the rider uses their inside rein and leg. When the horse's outside hind leg is off is when they use the outside rein and leg. And then to move the shoulders, they use their thighs. The lower legs are used to move the horse's rump. Good. Ask her for a stretchy trot. But first you can feel she's in front of the saddle, right? Good. So slow down the front end until she picks you up and praise her a lot. So we're just slowing down the front end until her shoulders come up. There you go. And she, that's it. Good, good. She's going to lose it a lot because she's used to doing a green horse trot. Good. Take your time. Praise her a lot. Yeah, now, it's, how I can explain it, it feels like her feet get flying out from underneath her Oh, good. She says she can feel when she's getting taken her because her feet start flying. Remember the half halt. So sit, connect her, soften your inside rein and leg. Outside rein and leg tells her where to put her face good thighs bring your shoulder over so to bring use your thighs all you need to do is to point your belly to a belly button in the direction of the movement it's not that she's holding the top thighs tight it's just turning her belly and as a result the thighs go against the thighs control the horse's influence the horse's shoulders good good take your time Well, she should be. So uh, you're noticing where she disconnects. This is a gift for you. Now you know where she's going to disconnect, like right there. So you slow down the front end, get the back end to pick you up, and then you let her go forward. So every time you feel her disconnect is when you can add your half halt, making sure you breathe in, take it all the way up your body. Feel it come back through your shoulder blades as your seat comes forward slightly. So the breath she's taking, she lifts up the front of her rib cage, the front of her chest, it goes back into where her shoulder blades touch, and then her lower seat comes forward so that she's, it puts her more into her thigh and lower leg. Not that she's holding, it's just a part of a position. I should say squeezing because it's not tightness. That's it, and once she responds, you get lighter with your aids. Good. Keep changing directions. You know where she's going to fall apart, so you're not going to add a stretch there. Like there, your outside rein is too long. Put her back under your seat. Yep. Shorten your outside rein. Get her to step up from your legs. Praise her. Praise her. Ask for a mini stretch. Yep. After she comes together, you get a mini stretch, and then she's going to fall apart right away again because that's what they do. Good. Praise her. So every time you connect her, you're going to soften just a little, give her a mini stretch as a reward. Right there, you connect her. That's right. Give her a mini stretch. Good. Connect her. Connect her with the outside rein. That's it. Connect her more. That's it. Right there. If you're getting springy, that's a suspension. And then you can let her step just a little bit forward on a, on a, yep, on a stretchy rein. Yep. Connect her. She's only going to hold that balance a couple steps as you're feeling. Praise her. Remember the half halt. Good. Connect her. Good. It doesn't matter. At first, that, that's good you said that because at first she's not used to feeling your seat and body being so involved in the process because we're really focused on the half halt. And what Trudy notices is in her downward transition, she, the horse has dropped from underneath of her. You don't have to. This is good. Everything you're feeling is good. If you want, you can play with some walk, trot transitions to see if you... Remember, 10 steps. Half halt, half halt. Yep, she's got to be more under your seat. <clears throat> so you noticed her nose started poking out? So what is, when her nose is poking out, what do you need to do? More outside rein. More, soften her more with your outside rein and legs so she stays under your seat. And if you have to slow down your steps at first to do it, it's okay. We're teaching her to listen more to your seat and legs now. As a result, she's staying more connected. Good. And I'm not getting picky about...
Trudy's leg, like you'll notice her heels coming up and stuff. She hasn't ridden this horse for six weeks. So what we're doing is we're focusing more on the connection and what she can do to reestablish what she's doing with her half halt. First with her upper body, which will slowly come down. So when you're working on this, don't expect to do all the parts at one time. It's impossible, especially if you have a horse that's in training like this one. You know, most people don't have a horse that's trained to the level where they can do a half halt and the horse can feel it and adjust to it as soon as they ask. And that's where Annie is right now. Good, good. That's it. Now you'll notice her nose poked out, right? Having that connection in the outside that's, right. that's right. So you have to soften her more. That's where I do make that mistake. Oh, most people do. She's saying she lets the outside rein too loose on the downward transition, which most people do. That's it. Now take your time and think. She's got to stay under you. Keep her under your seat all the time. Keep her under your seat. Keep her under your seat. Yep, and you'll be experimenting with different ways to use. I that was nice. That. that was nice. Did you see how loose she stayed? She didn't poke up her nose or anything. Very nice, Trudy. Good. Good. Now think half halt. We're going to do just two more transitions up and down. Okay. Connect her first for the upward transition. Softener on the outside. Get her pole up with your outside rein and leg. That's it. Is she in front of you or under your seat? Under my seat. Good. Keep her under your seat. If she's pulling, that's you holding the rein too long and not enough leg. So anytime she's pulling on the rein, it's when you need to add a little bit more inspiration from her back leg. And it's going to be, at first, you're going to feel like it's pretty rough. I mean, because you're changing it a lot. That's where you should be feeling. Each time it gets softer. And that, this is new for her to stay this connected. Good, Trudy. Take your time. Talk to her. Talk to her. Good. Keep the pole the highest point. Good. Nice walk. That's all right. She's going to be anticipating things right now. She's not being bad. That's it. So you just think everything she does is an opportunity for her to understand better what you're asking her to do with your aids. Good, Trudy. Yes. Good, good. Watch her on the outside, especially when you're changing directions. Most riders have a tendency to let the outside rein go a little bit too loose, and as a result, the horse drops them on the back and doesn't stay as connected as it could be. That was nice. How did that feel? That, that was better. That was better. Let me see if I can do an upward if it's good, then I'll let her take a break. Yes. So she's going to do another upward. Get her connected first. Is she under your seat? Because what she's going to do... Keep her under your seat. That'll be the tricky part. Take your time. Ten steps is wonderful. Good, good. That's it. Now she's going to start anticipating things again. She's not being bad. She's just trying to figure out what you want her to do. That was good. Yeah. Tell me, tell, tell me what you were feeling with this trot work that we were doing. I felt like she was thinking a lot more this time. Oh, Annie was thinking. I was definitely thinking, using and really trying to concentrate on my upper body, not collapsing. Yes. Because especially with all the changes of rain, I, you know, I, I need to be able to do that half halt. And that's if right. I'm like this, I can't do it. Can't so, do it. That's mm -hmm. right. And she can't feel it. And you she notice she feel started it. feeling. She was responding more and more from your seat and, and legs I all the time. Seat slipped back some, but yeah. I kept trying to adjust. Right. Well, that's what we do forever. Oh that's why the Olympians are still taking lunging lessons. That was good, Annie. Okay, let's give her a break.